is up, guys? I'm Jessica. And I am Joe. And we are here to deliver you this week's hashtag news feed. Well, we gotta... Listen, you're wearing a lot of Atlanta Falcon stuff right now. I know. Uh, you want to give us a little backstory on that? Well, yes. Uh, you guys will be watching this on Monday morning, so we will know the outcome. We're actually filming this on Saturday, so I'm hoping that the Falcons take home the championship. Uh, I'm yeah. a Browns fan till I die, but my boyfriend's from Atlanta, so naturally I'm repping this for him. I'm going for the Falcons also because your boyfriend's from Atlanta and he's a cool guy. He is cool. Uh, but I'm a Niners fan. That is true. Yeah. Uh, but you're still hoping the Atlanta wins. So. I am. I am. All right, so hopefully by the time you're seeing this, the uh, the Falcons have the championship. But I digress. What are we talking about this week? We have, what, Batman? We're going to be talking about Ben Affleck and Batman. We're going to be talking about the Power Ranger new poster. Yes. We're going to be talking about Cloak and Dagger. And we're also going to be giving you some Aquaman casting news. That's right. Let's get it. Go, go, Power Rangers. We got our final look at the Power Ranger poster. Their zords are in all their giant glory. The Power Ranger suits look magnificent. Magnificent. What the hell did I just say? Magnificent and flawless. They look shiny, sparkly. They look beautiful. Sparkly. Well, they, they do. look. They're they have cool. this like uh, middle, like kind of like Glow Iron Manish, glowy things. So sparkly. I'm gonna call it sleek. Sleek. Oh, sleek's a good word. Yeah. Modernized. I think the poster really uh, shows kind of like the aesthetic of what this movie is. It doesn't look as this poster doesn't look as dark as as we thought the movie was gonna be. It's still bright and it pops in your face with Agreed. colors. Action packed. It seems like it's gonna be a lot of action. It's morphin time is on top. Love it. Stick into the nostalgia that we know and love. I can't wait for this movie. Just about a month and a half left to go. They were so close. But I'm a fan. Uh, we still haven't seen any Rita posters, Zordon posters, or Alpha posters. Looks like we might not get those. But hey, you sold me on this one. Agreed. It is official that Ben Affleck will not be directing Batman, but he still will be playing Batman. Joe, do you know why he's not directing anymore? Uh, rumor has it that he doesn't feel that he can portray the character the way it should be portrayed by playing the role, writing the film, and directing the movie. So he's passing off the director role to somebody else. Now, we do have a short list mm -hmm. of who's in line for that. Um, it's George Miller from Mad Max, also. Uh, we have Matt Reeves from Planet of the Apes, Gavin O'Connor from The Accountant, um, Dennis Villeneuve, uh, who did The Arrival, and Matt Ross, um, who did Captain Fantastic. That's right, Captain Fantastic. That was a great film. Uh, <laughs> Those are all great directors. I, I'm, I hope that it's uh, George Miller that gets, gets it because I really was a really big fan of Mad Max. Also, George Miller formerly was attached to direct Justice League back in the day, which oh. also starred Batman, so maybe it's coming full circle. There you go. Um, but also, Gavin O'Connor is a good choice, too, mainly because he did work with Ben Affleck just recently on The Accountant. True. They had uh, that little working relationship. Yeah. I think I think George Miller would be cool. Me because too. if they're gonna bring any elements of Mad Max, that's like that was a, that was a great movie. So. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That would be my top pick. I agree. But, Comment below and let us know your guys' opinion of what, of who you think should direct. Yeah. <laughs> Recently, Brian caught up with Veronica Mars' dad. They talked shop a little bit, but it wasn't about Veronica Mars. This is Enrico Colantoni who played Felix Faust in the Justice League dark film. Brian, take it away. I'm here with Enrico Colantoni, who is the voice of Felix Faust. Yeah. How are you doing? Pretty good. What's it like? What do I do with Felix Faust? Just. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually heard this isn't the first time you've done an animated feature film. You've done Justice League yeah. back in the day. No, I did Justice League back in the day. That yeah. was fun. But then the, back then, all the actors were in the same room, and that was exciting because you're oh. used to working with other actors. This was the first time. It was just me just bouncing around all by myself, man. It was... Oh, it was, I see. Uh, it was, so when you see it, you kind of go, oh, wow, they really... They really make you look good. So what's it like coming back again as, you know, the Justice League Dark? I didn't know that there were so many Justice League movies. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, whoa. Well, and this one in particular is rated R. Was there really? anything about it? No, but everybody's so hot in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so sexy. It's just yeah. like, holy crap, they get away with that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you just... You're just waiting for everybody to just start macking down and stuff, yeah. but then that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> it's R-rated, not X-rated, but sexy, sexy, sexy. Sexy. Like Superman, Batman, just like, <laughs> Well, they have to bring Bandana in all... is like, whoa, <laughs> what a hot, hot... And it's so hot that they had to bring in she is. a whole new different crude for Justice League to take you on as Felix Faust. Well, what can you tell me about well, this character? Well, well uh, I'm, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not a historian in the Felix Faust, I'm not a Felix Faust historian. Yeah. 
but the the Constantine character is like my favorite, yeah. probably. Yeah. My favorite Love DC Constantine. character, right? Mm -hmm. And he's so a part. It's really his movie, right? Yeah. Justice League, it's just Batman and stuff. Mm -hmm. But Constantine is just so badass, man. I love Constantine. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? What can you say about Felix Faust that makes it so difficult for the regular Justice League to take him on? That requires it because he's a magician, man. He's a magician, yeah. He's just like full on, like you know, zappity doo da. And it's just like you can't. Mm -hmm. That's like maybe Superman, maybe. Yeah. But everybody else and their mortal powers are just like Felix Faust. Boom. <laughs> just like he's got the book, the magic book. Yeah. And he's he's powerful, man. He's powerful. Can we expect to see you in any future uh, voiceover work? Yes. Yes. I don't know. No. <laughs> just putting it out there. Thank you so much for your you know time. What, dude? It's yeah. like it's a great gig, man. You just it sit is. in a room, you you act, you do what you love to do, and then uh, they make a. Uh, no matter what you do, the animation always makes you look better than you actually are as an actor. So a couple weeks ago, Maverick and I brought to you the character breakdowns for Cloak and Dagger in MCU. That's right. Exchange reported that two actors had been cast. Uh, those reports have been found not to be true. We do have the official casting news, and uh, playing Cloak and Dagger are now... Olivia Holt from Disney Channel, and Aubrey Joseph that you guys may know from the night of the HBO original series, which was very good. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to watch it. Um, I think it's good casting, what do you think? I like it a lot too. I think it's gonna be a f new kind of show. It's gonna touch on a lot of social issues yep. and superpowers, which is something we don't necessarily have. Uh, it's going to be about a white girl and a black boy on the run uh, with their new superpowers in the South, Ooh. which is going to be in the know, South. In the South, yeah. From yeah, <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of. I think it's going to be a great show. I think it's uh, it's it's heading in the right direction for Marvel. It is going to be on the Freeform Network, Ooh. formerly ABC Family. They're picking up a lot. They are picking up a lot. Mm. So this is another show to add to their stockpile. Their repertoire. Man, and, and I, I'm, I'm guessing it might be a big hit. It might be a big hit with the uh, Pretty Little Liars fan base. Oh, So Marvel's very true. touching, touching, touching into a new uh, realm there. That's true. Can't wait for it. So Jessica, Mermaid Man and Aquaman, you think are the same. Yeah, for those SpongeBob fans out there, it's they're for sure. I mean, like direct reflections of each other. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, although they have like the same um, like colored uniforms and everything, Aquaman and Mermaid Man, but they're older. Mm -hmm. uh, SpongeBob superheroes are older. How much medicinal years. marijuana did you smoke to come to that conclusion, and how many bowls of cereal did you get through? Do you think? Um, three bowls of cereal, zero medicinal marijuana. This is just from my memory bank. But truly, I think that, I mean, they are a direct reflection of each other. It's hilarious. So it doesn't take a rocket science to, no. to see it. All right, so does, does this mermaid man have a father? No, They're, like I said, he's an old man. So you're assumed that any family he has has since died off, unfortunately. Well, Aquaman does have a father and he's gonna be, poss he's gonna be played by? Tamuera Morrison, who was um, Jango Fett. And now he's going to be the father of Aquaman. Star exciting. Wars uh, Attack of the Clones. Yes, Jango Fett. I remember him uh, very well. And the villain of this is going to be Black Mana, played by... Yaya Abdul-Mateen. Also very exciting. He was from the Get Down um, for those Netflix watchers yeah. out there. So That's awesome. And this mm -hmm. is already adding to a star-studded cast. Patrick Wilson's playing the Ocean Master. Mm -hmm. Jason Momoa is playing... Said character Aquaman, of course, and uh, sense. and Amber Heard. Amber Heard is playing Mira, his wife. So this cast is shaping up to be really good. I'm really excited to see what they can do with all the underwater sequences. And James Wan is an amazing director. So I'm really dis I'm and this is his dream project, by the way. So I'm really excited oh. to see what he does with all this. And you know, maybe DC can get back on track, uh, hopefully with Wonder Woman, but to follow it up with Aquaman. Agreed. And Justice League, obviously. <laughs> Our girl Jasmine went to Anime Impulse recently and got some really good coverage of a fashion show that was going on. Let's take a look. Hey guys, so we just finished watching the fashion show and mind blown. I'm here with one of my favorite designers of all time, Elle Hoffer Design. How are you doing, Katie? I'm doing great. So yours was amazing. You had so many pieces from very like very Thank different you. fandoms yeah. all over the nerd universe. Yeah. So what were the different pieces you saw? I mean, you had. I had, um, I had Star Wars inspired stuff, my okay. galactic apparel. So I had uh, the galactic uh, scavenger, which is my Ray inspired piece. Yes. Galactic bromance, which is my Poe slash Finn yes. piece. The bromance. And then, <laughs> bromance. And then uh, the galactic ace, which was, which was Poe's helmet yes. inspired piece. Yes. So those guys. And then my superhero collection, Very good. which I think on my website I call heroes and villains, because okay. I have some villains you too. You got Loki. I got Loki. Yes. I got some Black Widow stuff. Spider Gwen. I've, Spider Gwen. Yes. Um, I've got 
got oh god so much stuff wonder uh, woman yeah. i love wonder woman. wonder woman that was beautiful uh the bat girl yes. was the purple and yellow yes and then uh god i had a black Panther that i wanted to show but the sample was really bad yeah. um there's uh, there's so much there stuff. is so much and I then we of course oh doctor a, strange doctor strange that was beautiful thank you you know what i saw the doctor strange one and i thought um that would be gorgeous for doctor strange but it would also be great for another hero with a red cape and it's not coming there's a head. bunch there's a bunch <laughs> there's a bunch it's like it'll come to me eventually is it superman but it's not superman there's another hero with a red cape i was like that would be beautiful for it. it'll come to me oh yeah but i actually liked your newest one which is what i'm wearing yeah. right now my link so, inspired cardigan so finally where she's doing gaming wear Yes, probably only Zelda, because Zelda is my game. That's fine. That's fine. Also, it's really hard to do games of uh, uh, clothing for like Harvest Moon, which is my other favorite game. Oh my gosh, that'd be cute. Really I love yes. Cows. I know, that would be cows and chickens. Lots of cow stuff. Um, but no, I love this new piece. Since actually, you said it's unisex, right? Yeah, it's unisex. Um, mostly because I, I know a bunch of dudes that love Zelda, yes. love Link as well. Yes. Like Legend of Zelda. And this is very unisex item. Like I can yeah. totally see a guy rocking this. Yeah. And like with the hood, like this definitely like Link inspired. Big pointed hood. Yes. So I yeah, love it. I'm really excited. So I love your designs, and you Thank cover you. all over the nerd universe, all fandoms. Yeah. But I'm very excited to see what you have in store. What can we see from you in the future? Um, I'm working on some more Star Wars inspired stuff. So I'm working okay. on a Galactic Queen collection. Ooh. Pretty obvious. I'm gonna see that like Rogue be. One pieces. I'm um, I have an idea for Cassian. Okay. But other than that, Rogue One. No, that's okay. Yeah. I will see some Leia stuff. I have I have I have a ton of Leia ideas. Okay. I'm gonna try to get one out in time for celebration. Okay. Um, I'm working with a domestic factory and I've uh -huh. overloaded them. Like okay. they they they're they're like you too much stuff. Like <laughs> they, we love it, but like whoa. So many ideas at the same slow time. Slow down. So I have to slow down a little bit. Okay. Um, but I have I'm working with a comic book company on a licensed uh, collection for Very them. Good. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say anything yet because I haven't found anything, but I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to jinx it. So more comic book, more, more Star comic Wars, book, more Star Wars. Okay, um, very good. I have a ton more Star Trek ideas. Nice. Uh, never gonna stop that. Yeah. I'm working on a Disney inspired collection as well right now. Oh yes. Oh, I'm um, so excited. Just take all my money now. Everything. <laughs> Every, like, my problem is I have too many ideas. And then I have to slow it down. <laughs> that's not too, well, yes, I can see why that's a problem, but yeah. I, like for us fans, I'm really excited to finally see high fashion for women in yeah. like nerdy, geeky girls. Well, and my, my big thing is we need to have clothes for women to be able to wear to work and yes. not look ridiculous in. And like, very like subtle, like this yeah. is subtle, even your like, your my beautiful, robe. yes. My it's beautiful. professor robe. Exactly. I mean, you do look like very, very pretty, very classy, very <laughs> elegant. So I'm okay. very, it's beautiful. Can you please tell everyone watching where they can find your store and find you online? Everything for me is L Hoffer Design. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook is all L Hoffer Design. Link will be below. Yep. And my website, this is going to shock you, is also lhofferdesign.com. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Click like if you like this video. Definitely leave a comment below. Tell us what pieces you love from the fashion show. And hit subscribe to keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. Good job, Jasmine. Love the coverage and the outfit. Yeah, would it be better than this Atlanta Falcons jersey? But hey, man, whatever. But uh, on Thursdays, you do a show called what? Oh yes, Thursdays we do an after show for Riverdale, but recently there's been a debate that we should be calling it Gingerdale. Because there's three gingers in the For show. obvious reasons. And if you guys think it should be named Gingerdale, please comment below because it's very close to being the permanent name. Hashtag Gingerdale. Hashtag Gingerdale. So love that. Be sure to check that out. But that is it for this week's hashtag news feed. We have new videos premiering all week long, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and hang here for everything trending in, in geek, geek pop, pop culture. culture. Oh,